Do you believe in love at first sight? Because one look at this gun and I'm pretty sure I am in love. I mean, just look at this. This gun is an absolute masterpiece. So the first thing I want to do is look at the load animation. So we'll just do that uh, real quick in first person. We've got birdshot and then the 9.3 round. And I want to do it again in third. Not bad, there was a little bit of like double audio playing there because I switched, but that looks really, really good, and I mean, I just can't wait any longer. I've done a little bit of firing here at the range, and basically mouse 3 is what's switching from the shotgun barrels to the rifle barrel, and currently we are on the shotgun now that I've switched it, so we'll go ahead and take a couple of shots here. Let's actually just see how fast the two barrels can fire, like, back to back. Okay, very fast, and listen to that roar. I mean, that just sounds incredible. And then we'll go with the rifle. Honestly, if that's not the best sounding gun in the game, I don't know what is. That sounds just amazing. I love that. And a really nice feature, if I fire one rifle round, he reloads another one. He doesn't have to, like, have the entire gun empty. And then if I fire two shotgun rounds and don't fire the rifle one, he'll still reload the two shotgun ones immediately. So, uh, it's a really nice feature there where if you're trying to shoot something of a certain size, you don't have to, like, empty the entire gun. It's an auto-reload with that. And with all that out of the way, we gotta go shoot some stuff with this thing. I mean, a gun like this, it's gotta be used. So, first animal looks like it's gonna be a decent mule deer buck, 150 to 175, and I left it on bird shot, so that's one thing you do have to actually pay attention to, obviously, or you're gonna be shooting deer or other species with the wrong ammo. Oh, that gun sound is unreal. Oh, there's another one. I couldn't get my breath. This gun's insanely heavy. It is five units of capacity, so... It's uh, definitely the heaviest gun in the game, which of course makes sense. There's more barrels and general size of the gun than anything else. So it's very wobbly, especially down at the lower level. But in the normal 9.3 fashion, in one end of the mule deer and out the other in a decent score as well of 167, but just blasted through the entire thing there at 30 meters. So I expect this gun to be just pretty much capable of dropping anything at nearly any range. I think bison might be the only exception to that, and we will test that in just a bit. And we've got another actually halfway decent buck, 155 to 180, and still rocking the 9.3 barrel. Honestly, that sound, I can't get over it. It's so good, and you can probably tell while I'm aiming, this gun is very, very wobbly, so being prone and maybe even uh, utilizing like tripods or the shooting tripods, especially to level the gun up, is definitely a good idea and something worth considering because like close range shots like this aren't a problem but i imagine long range is going to be somewhat difficult to get those really accurate shots but again 30 meters away that 9-3 round just blows through the entire mule deer from the shoulder blade and all the way out to the intestine and another decent one at 157 score but i want to try out the shotgun a bit so we've brought out our old pal radar to help us find something to get with the shotgun side of this absolute beast of a gun i did take the scope off to try out the open sights a bit because there's a good chance we might be flushing a pheasant or spooking a rabbit so he is onto something already and we'll see just what it is and see if we can get it all right he is pointing to something and we just sent a rabbit no we didn't set it running yet it was just hopping but it should run in just a second i think it's yeah it's actually hiding right there and uh if there's anything left we should have something to claim that actually counted as a right ear shot at 8 meters, but it did actually drop it immediately, which is somewhat insane uh, for a 16 gauge, but 1281 score. That is a little bit of testing with both the barrels. Now we're going to head over to White Rhyme and see if the 9.3 in this gun is as powerful as the 9.3 in the newest double barrel we got. So under like 75 meters, the 9.3 double barrel that we have... Uh, the over-under will drop a moose with a double lung shot, so I'm just kind of working my way into 75 on this little bull. Hopefully he will stay there uh, and just kind of be broadside for us. We're almost there, so I'll just get the gun ready. We are on the 9.3 barrel, and I'm going to assume we're at 75 here. Holy, the wobble is real, though. 
Don't know if that was double lung, but he kind of started moving and I didn't want him to end up at a non-broadside angle, so we'll go up and see what happened. Definitely a lung shot. There is lung blood everywhere, though I kind of do feel like it would have been a single because a double lung... If it didn't drop from that yet, I would be very surprised, but we'll find out here in just a second. And yeah, it was just a single lung. I imagine he probably turned as a shot, but good little test there for what happens on a single lung with a moose. So what we should see with a bison double lung shot is like a wound time of 6 to 8 seconds. I'm going to go prone because the wobble with this gun is very, very real. And if you can just stop. It looked like it was getting ready to charge. And honestly, I didn't see that I hit it. I did. I just didn't see that I hit it. But it looks like that would have been a double lung. So that would be consistent with the over under 9.3 we already have. I was told in Discord uh, by, I don't remember who to be honest, uh, but they weren't sure if the 9.3 in this rifle was as powerful as the one in the over-under. So that's the biggest reason I'm actually testing this here on White Rhyme, but it's good to see it for myself, what it can do to these bigger species. But that was a double lung at 35 meters and a wound time of 6.6 .6 seconds. So that would be pretty much consistent with the other 9.3. But I want to try this double lung shot on a moose under 75 meters again. It would be ideal if this guy would just sit still for a little bit longer. Although I might have to take the shot while standing, which would not be fun. Because I don't even know if I'll be able to center it in the target the size of a moose's lungs. And of course he's going to start walking. But if he can just stop again, that would be great. And he's going to try to do that behind a tree. But because he got over there, I can get prone. And what I'm curious to see is if that was indeed a double lung shot and he is down pretty much immediately. So it might be just a tiny bit weaker than, than the 9.3 over under. Or it might be that I'm confusing what the actual range should be. But I'm pretty sure I tested that and it was 75. But either way, I mean, quite clearly this gun has a ton of power. So I probably want to end with water buffalo. I know they're actually weaker than bison, but it's just fun to take down... Uh, animals that go up to 1200 kilograms with a single shot and I, I gotta be honest I just want to hear this gun shoot more it just is so incredible but yeah double lung 72 meters a five second wound time on a moose so definitely worth testing a little more at some other ranges but I would say if nothing else it's very comparable to the 9.3 over under that's actually a somewhat decent looking bantang I can't tell because he's very hidden and I'm really not too sure how this shot's going to go just because like this gun's so heavy and I'm, I'm probably going to do the kind of crouching forward trick. Yeah, max weight, decent looking horns, decent looking downed banting and guys, I got to be honest, you all know the 4570 Buffalo rifle is my favorite big rifle. I think this gun might have changed that. I mean, the sound it makes when it goes off with the 9.3 chambered is just unbelievable. I love it. And that's just hitting level two there with it uh, on that dropped Bantang, who looked really, really solid. I don't think that was the max score estimate, but he might have been like 150s. It's so hard to say without seeing the actual like spread between the horns. But it figures I'd come out here to hunt water buffalo and get the worst water buffalo spawn it would seem possible because like a thousand meters on this map without a water buffalo is almost unheard of but we're actually just crossing that mark now though maybe we could have got one in the last hundred or so where we dropped this bantang instead but he actually looks really really solid i'm not too displeased about the fact that there's no water buffalo when this guy was standing in front of us and yeah a 150 bantang not my best shot intestine stomach liver but still dropped him at 163 meters, that is just unbelievable. And I had to go into trophy shot mode here just to see what the poses are like. It seems they are shotgun poses because you have that one for the casual, but I'm not actually sure. But either way, uh, I think that's probably the one I like. And I'm dropping my Bantang, but we'll pick him back up there and get a trophy shot of him with that beast gun. I mean, just look at that. It's so good looking and it's just huge. Like... It's a massive firearm to carry. And there is the water buffalo we've been looking for. A decent little male. Uh, a 200 to 245 score. And let's just see if that's a male that's actually calling. It is a female. So we'll just try to drop the male that's out here in front of us. And once again, if I can get prone, that would be great. 
And I wouldn't mind using a bit of range here. Apparently I'm going to go from crouched. And probably a single lung. I don't know. It's kind of tough to get the shot really lined up with that wobble. But we'll see. It could have been a double lung. And the fact that he was actually a little bit too far away to drop. He definitely didn't make it too far though. And that shot looks decent. So I'm kind of curious. It was actually just a single lung shot. It's hard to say whether or not. It's a matter of penetration or just my shot placement, especially with the wobble the gun has, but 208 score on him. I'd like to find one. I'll probably get a little closer just to see and try to drop it. Oh, just spooked a Bantang, but looks like a female or a small male, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, we got another one right about the same size. I'm actually significantly closer already to this one, right about 50 meters. I'm going to just kind of walk so that he doesn't charge. And actually, that is a pretty solid angle. I wish he wouldn't have stopped behind that, but I'll just walk so we have a clear shot. That is more what I expect. And just the fact that I can have like a one ton creature in front of me. This gun goes off with the sound it makes and he just dropped in his tracks. I love it. I think it's so cool. And uh, yeah, that had to be double lung. What did that say? 190 to 205. I'd love to see that pig, but they are a royal pain to track on this map. But yeah, double lung 208 once again, actually. And 37 meters away I, it's right front leg again. So I shot through the exact same area and ended up getting double lung. So that's, again, it's hard to say if it's penetration because it might have been the angle I shot last time. But it might actually be that there is a maximum distance where you're getting both lungs. There is our pig with not crazy tusks, but decent 960 to 1070. And, I mean, that's, what, 50 meters, probably less, and I really struggled to keep that centered. Like, this gun, it's going to take some serious leveling up. I definitely recommend maps like this uh, or White Rhyme Ridge where you can kind of run around, get kills on big animals where the, the lung area you're aiming at is so big that you're more likely to hit it until you get a decent level because it is rather difficult to control these shots. But hey, a 1,000 pig, I think that's only my second one off this map. 45 meters away, I did end up with a shot in the brain, but... Definitely not an easy gun to control by any stretch of the imagination. And as I always like to do with these field test videos, a whether or not I would recommend this gun, and I really do think it speaks for itself. The gun itself is 899 EM and the scope was nearly 400, I believe. Uh, but it's basically two guns in one. You can hunt actually every species in this game with this gun. This is the only firearm that you can do that with. There are the bows, of course, you can hunt every species with, but this is the only gun that has that option. So there's that. That's why it's definitely worth the EM if you want it and does it offer any advantage over say like the 9.3 over under other than actually having the shotgun barrels on it not really so it really depends like obviously you could probably tell I am like more than thrilled with this gun and I'll probably be using it in all of the near future videos it's a great gun to have and just the sounds and the look of it are really top notch like I really do think it's one of the best looking guns in the game and definitely I think it's the best sounding gun in the game so you can make your decision based on that but I really do love it so with that thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video it is very much appreciated and I will see you next time